When using Excel to create charts, a common question that comes up is, is there a way to create a chart or a graph that graphs two different data sets when those data sets are in different ranges? And the answer is yes, and the way to do that is to create a secondary axis. And I'll show you how to do that. For example, I have two data sets here, engine RPM and vehicle speed. Engine RPM ranges from about 800 up to uh, maybe 6,000 RPM. Well, vehicle speed ranges from zero up to about 60 miles per hour, two different ranges. So let's create a, uh, a chart here by highlighting the headers for those columns, hitting shift, control, and the down arrow to highlight all the data. Come back up to the top and insert a line graph. Now we've got a chart just like we expected, where we can see the engine RPM on this scale of zero to 6,000, just fine in the blue. But the vehicle speed barely registers because we're never going to get close to a thousand miles per hour and so it looks like we've got nothing going on here. But if we put it on its own scale or on its own axis it'll it'll show up better. So double click on the orange line and this opens up a pane over here on the right which allows us if we've got this this icon selected to turn on a secondary axis for that set of data. And when I do that, it created a new axis over here now that goes from 0 to 70. And it has plotted the engines or the vehicle speed data in orange on that axis now. And it makes it a little bit easier to, to compare these two data sets. So that's how you create a secondary axis in a chart in Excel.